Are you feeling like a zombie lately? Tired of the same old energy drinks promising the world but delivering the jitters at a crash? Look no further than Sneak Energy, your secret weapon for all your energy needs. With all natural ingredients, Sneak will give you all the energy you need to boost through your day without feeling like a lab rat on caffeine. Don't believe us? Try it yourself and see what a difference it can make to your routine. So what are you waiting for? Hit the link in the description and pick up your Sneak Starter Pack today. Now enjoy the clip. Um, the latest we're getting, and this is coming from Mike Keegan, he's put a tweet out about an hour ago. He says, the Manchester United sale update goes like this. Bidders expecting to hear this week whether they've been successful or not. Second offers likely after access to full financials, which they have at the moment. Um, don't rule out new joint bids. And uh, Sheikh Jazim watched the final in Doha and wears United shirt for, to play five aside. So that's the guitar uh, bid, of course, which is still very much active. So, um, I mean, we're, we're over a week now since the bids went in. Uh, it was a quiet week last week. Um, this week we're expecting to hear, you know, the, the bidders are expecting to hear from the club and then further bids can go back in. Um, and also there's a question there that there may be further bids to come in, joint bids coming in. I mean, all I would say is that who knows what bids we'll get. There's a lot of rich people out there. Um, if you put your car for sale on the drive, all sorts of people are going to turn up and with all sorts of offers. Um, the, the, the key thing here is that whoever, whoever comes up with the plan that they want a bit of United to keep, but keep the Glazers in, they're public enemy number one. That I, I don't, I don't, that, I don't. I've got, you know. I think we spent a lot of time over the last few weeks arguing about whether we should be owned by Guitar, whether we should be owned by Sir Jim. And I've seen positives and negatives to both. Um, personally, I never saw the issue. I, I never saw the reason to pick. I, I, I didn't see the point to pick because we won't pick. And also, they might not be the bids that get hold of United. Um, whatever issue people have with Sir Jim, whatever issue have, people have with Guitar, I mean, they, they pale into significance compared to the person or investors or group that are willing to invest to keep the Glazers in power. I mean, the Glazers are bad for Man United, but I'd almost say, obviously they're not, but I'd almost say if somebody facilitates the Glazers staying in this club, then they're as bad, if not worse, than the Glazers. They are public enemy number one. They're, they're Manchester United fans, public enemy number one. So, you know, I, I, I don't know how to say it because it's not a threat. It's a reality. If you are the people that keep the Glazers in power, because they need somebody to do it, if you are going to put up two billion to keep the Glazers at Man United, it will become public knowledge. And you might think, let's keep it away from the public until the deal is done. That's the worst thing you could do. Because it will become public. You can sign the deal. You can send the cheque. And the Glazers can be, yay. But at some point, the Man United fan base will find out who you are and, who, and who's put that money up. And you better be ready to reap that whirlwind because you are going to get emails. You are going to get people knocking on your door. You're going to get journalists coming for you. You are going to get a lot of hassle for doing something that you clearly didn't understand. You are propping up people who are not wanted, and therefore you become as bad as them. And I just hope whoever is thinking, whatever group, whatever consortium is thinking, if they are thinking about investing in the Glazers, they need to get some good PR, PR and open their eyes. Because it's not just a little problem that will go away. You'll regret it. You will regret it big time. And, and, and I just hope the people who are thinking about doing it really have researched it. And if they have researched it and they decide to do it, well, they deserve everything they're going to get. But for me, I just, you know, if you're thinking of investing in United, find somebody else to invest in. Don't bloody invest in keeping the Glazers in place. Uh, hi, Mark. Should we have lost the final? Maybe this whole... Hi, Mark. Should we have lost the final? Maybe this whole Glazers staying thing could have, ha could have happened. Don't want the Carabao Cup to through the trophy that keeps them, says Love. Nah, I mean, I mean, look, in a footballing sense, you should be able to park each side. I, I want Man United to win games because I think the players deserve it. We deserve it. And Ten Hag deserves it. And uh, but, the, but, but look... I, I'll pose this question. You know what I think. I'll pose this question. And I'll do a poll on it, actually. Um, can Can Ten Hag win... Sorry, can Ten Hag win um, titles under Glazers? Yes or no? And it's an interesting question. And, and when I say... I say titles as plural. I'm not saying one title because we could do a Leicester City this year. We could, we could fall into our lap. We could win it. But 
can we consistently win titles with the Glazers under Ten Hag? And, and, and I honestly think no. I think Ten Hag's capable of winning one. I think he could win one. I think he could, you know, it could fall into our lap. We could win one. But can you consistently fight Man City or Chelsea or, or Liverpool or whoever week in, year in, year out under the Glazers? No, because I know what's going to happen. I saw it with Arsenal. Arsenal had to build a stadium and Wenger had to rely on just getting fourth every year because they didn't have the money. As soon as the Glazers start rebuilding the stadium, you know what? We've already had it. I don't know why people don't know what will happen if the Glazers stay. Dividends, yes. Debt, yes. And challenging market every summer, yes. Um, our CEO sat in a pub with fans in the summer talking about how challenging it was and protests damaged the club because of sponsors wanting to pull out and you've got to give us, you know, some, you know, leeway. Um, that's that's what you'd have for the next 10 years. Uh, Glennie Boy says, if the Glazers are gone by the summer, I hope the Glazers will enjoy all the protests on their doorstep during the summer tour, says Glenny. And uh, Garnacho and Palestri must start against West Ham, says Jude. Let's just have a quick look here at uh, what people are saying. So, um, thirty-eight percent think Ten Hag could win con titles consistently under the Glazers. Sixty-two percent say no. Look, we're not we're not denying that Eric Ten Hag's a great manager and he could win a title. I'm just saying he can't. If he can win titles consistently under the Glazers, what's the apart from the debt and that they don't care about the club? But if he can win the Premier League year in year out under the Glazers, what's the problem? Um, I don't think Sir Alex could win titles anymore under the Glazers. I think football's moved on. Um, I think the power of Man City. And New Man City was just starting when, when Sir Alex came to, the, to an end. They're, they're too powerful now. Newcastle are going to be too powerful. You ain't going to win at this level without wealth. I've been saying this for years. It doesn't matter. The Glazers need to go. They're, they're bad for football. They're bad for Manchester United. But like it or not, football's about wealth now. And if you haven't got super wealth, you're not going to win. Simple as that. Because if you've got super wealth and you've got a decent manager... You're going to beat a decent manager who hasn't got super wealth because it's this basically what's happened to Klopp. I think Klopp's a better manager than Pep. I do. I think with an open checkbook, Klopp would have won more titles. But that's.